The Gay Delonger and the Fusion Music Star is our new special way of opening the show in style. A big tune that one is. Your song in it was Shika Simu. So many people have been asking about that. Many thanks to you for joining us for yet another classic episode of the show. And every time this show comes, you donate half an hour of your precious life to watch what we have for you. That means love, Mazi. Also, special thanks to the notification gang. Your feedback is how we grow on this show. Asante Nisana, I love to start with Giandani. This week, Mama Aida Odinga made a comment about the growing number of churches. And boom, Kenyans were divided again. And for this reason, we sought our favorite pastors on the show. One of them is probably the coolest grandfather, sometimes <laughs> confused for the devil's advocate, but he has been praised in some circles as Mr. Tell It All. Our other guest is arguably Kenya's favorite youth pastor. He but he has a very special way Pia could deliver the gospel. The first duo in the history of the Wicked Edition to rewind and come back selector. Pastor Mankush and Apostle Mr. T.R. in the house. Yeah. <laughs> Asante Sana, we'll be talking to them in a bit. But first, so much drama for a week. A lot has happened, especially in politics. This week, rumors started uh, going around that Honorable Rigadi Gashagwa could be selected as DP Ruto's uh, number two and possibly Kenya's next uh, deputy president. Alafu rumor, Haijapoa Hetaflani Akadilis Ati, the official portrait of Kenya's next deputy <laughs> president. Mazewa Chenizo. Chenizo, I know how it feels when haters choose a doppelganger for you. Mazewa Yule Msia Lise Matiu ni Mimi. Please. Please. Mazewa, the earthquake peers also continued uh, to spread across the country. And during the speech, this speech, by ANC leader Mosalia Modavadi, I noticed two things. One, politicians have their own language. Listen to ANC leader Mosalia Modavadi switching to Swahili. A very senior man in this government once told me that we cannot leave the government to somebody who is not pedigree. Ndakuja kwa Kiswahili. Nataka ni ulize. If we have pedigree, <laughs> in this country, when it comes to politics, then who are the mongrels? Sasa wapi Kiswahili hapo mazi? Ndakuja kwa Kiswahili. Nataka ni ulize. If we have pedigree in this country, when it comes to politics, then who are the mongrels? Ah, mazi. Ama hapo madividia likuwa na manisha Kiswahili by the political definition. Wacha sasa ni wapige Kiswahili. <laughs> Kiswahili imeenda shule. Unajua wa Kenya wanasikia tu <laughs> ni pedigree. Na, for, those who don't <laughs> for those who don't know, pedigree is another way ya kusema dynasty. Another thing that caught my attention is how long Modava deposes between statements. A very senior man in this government once told me that we cannot leave the government to somebody who is not pedigree. Kenyans are very patient, man. We measured how long that pose is. It's longer than the, it's longer in the original video. The original pose is longer than this relationship. That pose is almost as long as it will take Ke Kenyans before, as in it, as long as it will take before Kenyans say His Excellency Moses Masika Wetangu <laughs> as the president. I'm to watch the, the original video. Yes, Mike. Eh, watch our clip and the echo background. To end the show, Mudavadi can end the speech. Need to stop and listen. Fun fact: uh, Mudavadi and it was in real sense. I'll go and talk with a Vadi, but sababu ya ile Mudai u take kabla a end the echo end the echo ongea. I like to Mudavadi. 
Now, moving on, after the courts found him guilty of a conspiracy <laughs> to defraud NSSF of 1.2 billion shillings, former NSSF financial manager Mr. Francis Muturi has been sentenced to 14 years in prison or pay a fine of 2.4 billion shillings. Now, for argument's sake, if the guy has 2.4 billion shillings, should he pay the fine or be patient for 14 years to enjoy his 2.4 billion shillings after? Think about it. How many people get the chance or the opportunity to become billionaires in 14 years? <laughs> Just do the math. What is 14 years? That's like two full speeches, Zamudabadi, if you include the person. <laughs> If you include the person. And just like that, boom, 2.4 billion. Do the math. Kama umse ya kona iyo do. Alafa amwe kufungwa. He'll be making around uh, 470,000 shillings per day. To put this into perspective, in jail, this guy will be earning more than the president. To good news now, following the announcement that hosp private hospitals will not be accepting NHIF cover, after negotiations, Health CAS Massimo Wangangi announced a temporary reprieve and patients will continue using the cover till the end of March this year. So in layman's language, if you are covered by NHIF, you have a window of exactly two months to fall sick after which you'll only be covered, <laughs> after which you'll only be covered by the blood. <laughs> now it, it has been an interesting week for healthcare because CIA Governor um, Colonel Rasanga was also on the spot this week after he announced that among other essential services, CIA residents will also be denied medical services if they have not registered as voters. That's quite a paradox. <laughs> CIA residents will be denied access to healthcare for not producing the document that has been blamed for poor healthcare. <laughs> the, governor, the governor has decided to make a voting a matter of life and death. But for real though, what if someone dies? Oh, I keep forgetting, Mazi. When I say manga in this country, haters, when I say manga in this country, you can still vote when you're dead. <laughs> now, that's not to mean that our politicians cannot be doctors. Listen to Duale threatening to perform a surgery. We can dissect Raila Odinga on a table in a theater and explain to you each part of his body. Who doesn't know Baba's body parts? Kichu yake ni orengo, roya yake ni joho, tumbo yake ni atoli. <laughs> Uko kuingine ni junet. But, well, well that's, that's politics for you. Moving on, should churches be regulated in terms of numbers or not? Should there be a qualification uh, or standard set to be a pastor? That has been one of the biggest debate this week. Goja. Mike. Mudava dia memaliza kupos. Bado, where are we? Oh, yes. Uh, you do agree, uh, do you agree with Mama Aida on her position, on, on her earlier position about churches? Kufungwa, uh, zifungwa, ziongezeke, zisiongezeke. Of course, Mama Aida later apologized for the discomfort it caused after Ligundu Amechokoza watu wa baba. But <laughs> the debate continued. We thought it wise to invite Pastor Mankush and Apostle T. Mwangi to help us navigate this conversation. They will be joining us on the other end of this, of this sort of... They'll be joining us on the other end of this short commercial break. See you. Number one, Mudavadi and Nakusama Kiki. The break. Uh, see you guys in a bit. Yo, welcome back to the weekly edition. Maze. I'm Dr. King Ori Karibuni Sana. Your conversation, your church, and your uh, subject. And we brought our favorite peoples, our favorite men of God on the show. Combination ya kwanza to my erudisha in the history of the weekly edition. Apostle Mr. T. Mwangi and Mankush in the house. How are you? Karibuni Sana. Tena na tena. Asante. E, Niluambia the next episode tunafanya ni ya atheists. Tumalize yo conversation sasa once and for all. <laughs> Sindio? Leo, leo tunataka kupiga story ya, ya church. Na watu wakati conversation wakati mama Aida alisema churches ziridiusiwe kidogo zimekuwa mob. It brought a few questions. Na inamanisha kwanza watu walikuwa na compare na Rwanda. Ati Rwanda had a crackdown on churches wakasema. Lazima watu wa qualify in theology. Ndiyo mtu wa qualified kufungua church. So inamanisha kuna, kuna distinction between calling na yo kusomea word ndio weze kufunza watu. Which begs the question ya kitu mibi nezapenda kwanza nayo ni kujua 
mtu amekoliwa like sema kama speaking in tongues and this i believe you guys can respond to nini wote mtu ajuaje yule ana speaking in tongues for real ama mtu anaongea kikisi in reverse <laughs> najua mauliza swali mo by the way hapo eh <laughs> twende <laughs> eh maybe ku respond nilisikiza hiyo tape ya Aida mama yes. Aida yes. kwa sababu ni sensitive matter na kiwa leader before asome kitu ama speech wana kwangu wame consideria nasema na nikaangalia ni wapi aliongelelea hiyo speech ilikuwa ni book launch ya a professor who is a pastor and an, an intellect so kwa hiyo launch ndo alisema ni aje eh, mimi kieka phone yangu nianze tu kuangalia naona machache kila mahali ni mob akasema watu kama wewe wanaweza saidia na NCCK kuona vile tunaweza control churches because of the mushrooming numbers of churches unity kuya in context so that to solution mawe the opposite direction na to force aseme tu kusema and so the first thing alisema ilikuwa very powerful kuna institutions ambazo zinafaa ku govern church ncck na kitu ya pili ali suggest ni story ya training alafu kitu ya tatu yenye mimi naweza kosoa ni vile alisema there are so many small churches consecrated in one area sasa hiyo nikiangalia biblically ni at every vision begins as a small thing so atwezi sema hii ni small because impact ya ministry i kui weighed by the number of people inakuanga weighed by the number of lives that are transformed so the moment what were co trained and they are not called you produce intellectuals but the moment people are called and they are not trained again we produce incompetent people so we need the call and the training but the calling is more important than the training okay so lazima uitwe kwanza lazima uitwe ah sawa sawa yes mankush ungependa kuongeza kitu hapo before eh lakini Sasa mnajaga nini? Nitaanza chini kidogo. Juu my 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 good friend Pastor Tia ameanza juu kidogo. Yes. Wacha nitremuke kidogo kwa sababu ya the untrained ones. Yes. Brother, kingoli kama huna ngombe, hakuna haja ya kwenda mkutano ya, ya Munanda. Ndani <laughs> <laughs> umenielewa? Mm. Kama huna kaprot, hakuna haja ya kwenda mkutano ya Maradrot. <laughs> Wewe enda mahali na kufit. I, I don't know whether it is good, but it is right kama vile T amesema. Wakati unafungua mdomo wako kuongea habari ya church. Don't look at the kwa 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 quality quantity of the members because god is looking at the quality of the hearts mm. na church inaanza sio na watu wawili ni watatu where three are gathered three <laughs> tangu lipaka hapa nimesikia jamaa moja hapa akisema ati kanisa nyingine iko na watu sita nikasema si hata hizo zinafaa kuwa mbili <laughs> <laughs> Nikasikia jamaa mwingine akisema hapa tu nikiwa tu nimekaa hapa ati unataka pale sita na hawa tano waungane pasta moja akule wapi Kwa hivyo the way they see the church wanaona kama ni business Lakini ukitaka ujue si business unajua unaweza acha anza butchery na ngombe ya mama yako ikizaa ikufe Akwambie badala ya tuzike wewe chukua enda ukaanze nini <laughs> But church is not like that. Mm. There is the calling. And when you once you are called, ukitaka ku, ku improve, you go for training. Na kama hutaki ku improve, wewe kaa tu hapo hivyo, tutakupita tu sisi ambao tumekuwa trained. Lakini tutakuwa tukikuhurumia na washirika wako. Maana utakuwa ukiwaambia wasikunywe dawa, wasiende hospitali. Yes we anakuja Friday. <laughs> you get all this all this ni kutokuelewa. Tukifika kwa training, hata natumia example yako. Um, where you sit you sit as a journalist. But naweza naweza prove how the document a journalist ulianza kaa comedian yeah. but uka interact na NTV wakakufundisha disciplines a journalism. Mm -hmm. So na ethics. na ethics. Kuna two types of training kuna the school system 
four years in a theology school and you learn. And then sasa kuna what I may call ile ngine sasa you walk with a man of God and you learn first hand ministry. Mankuja mekwa kwa ministry for long. Imagine him for 10 years. Already know how crises are handled, how money is handled, and all that. And the problem in Kenya, which even Wakenya may raise, it is not the problem of churches. The problem is kuna churches in Inuka na zinanza ku abuse watu. The underlying problem pia ni watu feel we give, but our money is not accounted for. Theology does not teach management. Theology teaches Bible. Management is a different course. So, pali gavai na kuja kidogo na fila pana, ni wakati tuna standardize, tuna sema theology, lazima kila pasi, akwe mepitia theology. Every denomination inakuanga na theology yao. That's why kuna theological school ya Catholic, theological school ya PCA, theological school ya ACK, theological school ya Pentecostal. So ideally, pia awa wengine, this is how they train their ministers to carry after them. So I believe training is happening rapidly. But okay. in what I may call unconventional and all that. Okay. Na tukiongea story ya gava kuregulate kengori. Okay. Gava ilianza kuregulate church kitambo sana. By the way, kutoka 2014, portal ya kuregister church ilifungwa. 2014, akuja kuwa na any registered church. Na ni church peke, si mosque. Church peke. So Temples. So zinezi natokea saini illegal. Temple, zile ziko, sasa hapo ndo utanza kuelewa. Mimi, mimi ni kolimuru, ni kona life church. Saizi msea kapata calling, haizi register. Ni mimi ni mpati a blessing. Aende anze under what I call my cover. So, mina pasta under life church. So, he has to open another life church wherever he is. So, ideally, two things can happen. Ata kuwa manipulated ku fall under the vision of what I have. Because the portal was closed. Professor Gedhu Moigai alitoa proposal and he liku adopted Rwanda. Na akase mandoi ya kuregulate church. So that's why watu wa kiangalia whatever mam Ida alisema, the government knows what it's saying. Gava iko na document inangoja tu kwa proviwa. It is written. It is not a suggestion. Ili shell viwa tu. Juchachi lizusha. So nile ka ku test waters, eh, to regular church, bado wa kuja kuwa fiti, wacha ikai. But the document is there, prepared by Gedhu, na ikuapo inasema, anyone facilitating a church must have a theological background. Na, 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 na ujue mimi niko na certificates za, za theology, higher diploma, <laughs> and psychology, and I don't use them in church. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Ata pia, interesting insights pia kwa kopia Mr. T. Thank yeah. you for that information. Uh, ukisema churches has jakuwa since 2014. Yeah. Uh, so, niko shua kuna wasetu um, unawaita mamorio fulani tu, anichomoka yeah. na kanisa yake, which would also explain why kuna maombi ya zijibiwi. Yeah. <laughs> Ingia kwa, 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 kwa parliament, kuna waze wanafanya kazi poa, na kuna wengine wameenda kusanya zido walitumia wakati wakambili. <laughs> They are together there. Sao. Kwa hivyo sisi kama kanisa, lazima to regulate parliament. Na, eh, eh, <laughs> <laughs> na, na, na kuna wasi wana argue, this conversation, hii kulipuka yenye, imelipuka after mama Aida li make your statement, yeah. imefanya watu wa mea come na concerns, I, let me call them concerns. Kama, ati how comes Africa, na hii mekwa ikigwa around for some time, Africa is more religious than wale watu walileta religion. Kuna principles za Bible. Na kuna Yesu Kristo ambaye sisi tunaamini ambaye anaokoa ndio tupate uzima wa milele. Yes. Afrika tutapata uzima wa milele tukiwa masikini hapa. Hizo nchi zingine ziko na doo nyingi lakini uzima watapoteana naye. Kwa sababu uzima hatutapewa kwa ajili ya doo zile tuko nazo. Lakini they are very good in applying the principles to get money. Kama juzi tuko, tulikuwa na COVID hapa, hata sasa tuko nae. Wametupea. Swali ni moja. Kenya, tumepea nchi gapi? Support. So, uh, so because to... they know how to give, that's why they have a lot. Because God says the heart that gives, receives. Not the soul. What lazima tuelewe pia, kuna, kuna spirituality, na kuna, kuna teachings of scripture. 
Africans generally we are spiritual. We respond to things from a spiritual level. Alafu kuna teaching ya scripture na kuna application ya scripture. Wakati tunaangalia hizi vitu zote, lazima pia tukuje tujiulize who defines success? What is success? Between mse yako na 14,000 ya kwenda dialysis na mse mwenye akona 10 bob na hanid kwenda dialysis. Who's more successful? Is it on economic scale? Is it on social scale? Who defines success? Because majority of the things we have in Africa are for free and majority of the things we cannot afford, some of them are as it was ID. A case example right now, Germany, awezi pata counselor wa psychology for the next five years. Depression is killing people. Germany ndo the biggest manufacturers wa Mercedes Benz. Ukilande airport leo Germany, unachukulewa airport na Mercedes. Sina Mercedes, but mina lala kwa keja, bedi ya mabati, deni yangu ni afuliza ya chwani. Na mina oversleep. Mse yako Germany, akona sleeping terror, lazima meze sleeping pills, anaishi kwa four bedroom, akona good sanitation, akona good housing, but the things that make life life, how is he afford? Because mm -hmm. he's not God. So what we, what we need to understand is that faith brings what money cannot bring. Should, shouldn't Christians be more forgiving when attacked? Because kama say, when they announce when the when word broke that oh this is what has been said about the church eh watu walikuwa me jam eh mzee watu wame jam hata kulikuwa watu wajaokoka unashindwa why as in say thought christians should lead a different kind of life well well uh, christians should forgive but what are they forgiving they must mention it so what they did ukaichukua kama ni hasira walisema vile kulisemwa Kulisemu kanyogwe. Wakasema, no, hakata nyongwa, hakata nyongwa. And sasa, si wame cool. Mm -hmm. They are praying. Hakata nyongwa. Kwanza hata wanasema, baba tumekata. Na kama sasa ni huyo alisema hivo. Na hajaigia uko ikuru. Na hakiigia. <laughs> Wako na mambo mengi sana. Kwa sababu kama vile misatia mesema hapa. Wanachukua things negatively. Yes. Many people look at things negatively. Kunao sasa hata, unaona vile tunaonge hapa. Wako na vitabu, wakiangalia makosa hile tunafanya na Mr. T. Ndiyo mm. waicharinji. Badale ya kusikiza kama vizo, hizo vitu sasa tumefundisho hapa zahari ya juu sana. <laughs> zahari ya juu sana. Wote wako na vitabu, na simu, wameshika hivi. Na mtu wameenda dukani, haka simu ya 50,000. Ya kufanya ujiga tu. Ya kukutukana <laughs> imagine. So, not that Christians does not forgive. We forgive so much. Kama juzi sikuna mtu wa metuita maumbwa. Na haka ingia kwa social media tu. Madogizi mefungua tu. Na alianza na mimi. Haka sama pasta kuri ya toka. Kiubo kimoja kika toka. Hai, hujawana yo. Hujawana. I think you have seen it. Umeyona? Zikuwana yako. Mr. T. Haja semwa. Mimi, pasta JJ, pasta Mwiru, Moja ikatoka kabla haijaitwa ikabiwa wewe kanyari kwanza rudi. <laughs> juzi, Juzi amefanya ka TikTok ngine akasema I'm very sorry, please I need forgive M watu wa Mungu mni forgive. Nikaandika kwa, kwa kwa Facebook, I have forgiven you. Hata kabla huku sema hivyo, nilikuwa nimekuforgive kwa sababu nilikuhurumia. Kwa sababu out of, from the abundance of the heart the mouth is speak. Kwa hivyo ni umbwa tu moja ilichomoka kwa roho yako. Mm. <laughs> kwa sababu dani yako unalisha umbwa. Number 2. Number 2. Nimekusamehe tafadhali my sister. Hata sina mambo. Na kuhurumia tu ukuje upere kwa pale uh, hospitali ya macho. Kwa sababu mimi naenda na miguu miwili. Umbwa inaenda na miguu ine. Na una ni confuse na hiyo. It means that you are sight. Uko na na problem. No, so we forgive so much. Ata sayi nataka ukuje unikose. Uwana nikikusamehe. Kitu huwezi fanya. Nikunifanya kama vile biblia inasema. Ati ukinigoga nikugeuzia hii. Nita kuunda jama. Nita kuunda mba ya bozo. Uta flash back to your days of boxing. Yeah, yeah. And I have done it 16 years, buwana. Uli boxing. Mimi sifanyi kazi ya mugu kwa kukosa higine. Naifanya kwa sababu ya kuwacha higine. Na watu nukua natandika walikusamehea. You forgive each other. No. 
Hata saa hiyo ukitaka tuchapane yeah. kabla hakuna pesa kama hakuna pesa siwezi pigana kwa sababu hata hiyo misati tuko tunachapana unalipwa mm. hata ukichapwa kuna kitu unapeleka home mm. <laughs> <laughs> Wapi makofi ya Mr. T na Mr. Kush Asanteni sana asanteni sana hii conversation unajua hata nikiuza swali next haitaisha so mm. on to the next one Uh, we are looking for atheists please volunteer come on you can take on mr t and mankush we are planning for that episode they are ready we are just waiting for you we are waiting na i hope i'm to before the interview so <laughs> we are really hoping because last time we brought an atheist on the show tulileta tuliambwa tulileta the tuliileta the president of athe yani the president you are president but watu wengine walikuja ku complain at oh uh, we need sijui atheists sijui so and so So and so okay any we are planning that episode <laughs> otherwise asanteni sana see you next week my name is dr kingori <laughs>